Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Zelda Skyward Sword Blind. Um, in the last part, we did the ceremony, because it's a gruesome ceremony. And, uh, Zelda got taken away by a tornado. Oh, hello, Fi. Okay, okay, okay. You don't need you don't need to run. Uh, okay. Why why are you running? Or more literally flying and f phasing through doors. Oh, uh, apparently my battery is about to die. This is going to be a short episode. By that I mean it's probably going to be 10 minutes. Unless my controller dies, in which case it'll be a short episode. Okay. Just, uh, lead me off these cliffs. Oh, you okay, you okay, king in the bobber. Look at that, look at that. Oh, you're so cute. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. Bad kitty. Yeah, you better run. Okay. Let's just, uh, do this. Okay. Alright. You're making me... You saw nothing. Watch your footing out there. In the dark, you never know when you might take a wrong step off a ledge. You better be a guy this time. Oh, and don't let me catch you going out flying at night. Only trained knights such as myself should be doing that. You take care now. Okay, thank God it's a man this time. Because last time I got really confused. God dang it. Okay. D okay, I, I, I j Watch your footing out there. In the dark, you never know. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Well, that was an interesting conversation. Okay, where, where's... Okay. Well. Inside the statue of the goddess. Oh look, a new sword. Oh, there you are. The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. 
According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Fies is the name I was giving. Boop! I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. Boop! I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Kimari. You must take up this sword. It's the one chosen by my creator. It is your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep. My sudden appearance. Uncertainty surrounding the fate of one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. <laughs> and this spirit maiden, dot dot dot, the one you call Zelda, dot dot dot, is another chosen one fated to be a part of the same great mission. Boop. Therefore, you should wish to meet with your friend. You wish to meet with your friend. I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? Boop. Yes. It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, that was fun. Alright, well, I was just practicing. Yeah, so. There. there. You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Recognition complete, Master. Dot dot dot. Kimari. Dot dot dot. My master. Kimari. I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. We are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. Boop! It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words, dot dot dot. Boop! When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth guided by my hand shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago. The sword that I have kept secret all these years, da da da, it began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first I was sure I was seeing things, here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade, dash dash, one who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise to with knowledge immeasurable. Ah, yes, the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over generations.
The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. Boop. That was a late boop. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. Dot dot dot. Boop. And united with... Oh, I forgot the dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. And united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called this. Wait, up oh, right. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. Boop. The old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. Boop. It's only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before my you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, Honorable Zelda. Boop. This is no easy task, Kimari. The world below is a forsaken place. To reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. You got the emerald tablet! Sorry. The weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with the skyward strike. These blasts are formed with pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. Okay. That sounds simple enough. Awesome. First time we've heard that sound in this game. Two thirty six. Why am I yawning? Master Kemari, it is done. I think, um, I'm gonna pause it for now and go get some batteries for my Wiimote. So, yeah, until next time.